Okay, we're going to get familiar with our studio in this first lesson. When you open up our studio, it should look like this. It has four panes. If you can only see three, click on this button to reveal the source pane. Now the source pane is where you're going to type in commands that you want to save to a file. The console is where those commands will appear when you run them, or you can type in commands that you don't want to save. You've got two tabs on the right side, environment and files, and some extra tabs there. We'll go over what these do later. Now, the point of this class is to learn how to create reproducible scripts for your data processing and analysis. And so we need to change some defaults to make things fully reproducible. If we go into our Studio Preferences menu, under the General tab, in Workspace, we want to not restore our data into Workspace at Setup. And where it says Save Workspace to our data on Exit, we want to set that to Never. This makes sure that every time you open up our Studio, you're starting fresh. You don't have variables or functions that you created the last time you opened up our Studio. So the whole point is that we want to make um, scripts that give you the same answer every time you run them, and if you give them to someone else, they get the same answer every time they run it, and that the answer doesn't depend on what you did the last time you opened our studio. Another thing we might want to do in the preferences right now is fix the appearance of our studio. So we can change the zoom to make things larger or smaller, our editor font size, which I keep quite big for demonstration purposes, and the theme. So we could change the theme to uh, um, light on dark, and this is often helpful for people, um, say, with dyslexia. You'll want to play around with what themes make the most sense to you. The different colors here you'll become familiar with. They'll tell you whether what you're typing is a variable name or a function or an operator, whether you've um, remembered to put the closing parentheses on something or not. It's there to help you out, but it won't make much sense right now. I'm going to be using TextMate theme, which is the default um, if you want to make your, your theme match mine. Click Apply if you've changed anything, and OK.